Hi Dio, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna do your reading here in just a moment. A couple things before we get started. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Secondly, I am um, giving away one personal reading each month. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. So with that, Leo, we're going to pull some cards here, see what the energy is from the Energy Oracle deck. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. Okay, nice, powerful energy there with the World card number 29, which is 11. Okay, something, uh, some sort of new cycle. Endings, new beginnings, things coming full circle. We're going to see how this relates to your reading. We also have number 41, which is five, the seven chakra, Archangel Uriel. So I feel like with this energy here, you're going through some sort of transition here, okay? And I feel like spirit is guiding you. So really listen to your, your thoughts and your feelings. You may be feeling more intuitive. You may even uh, be becoming uh, more spiritually awakened. That can be that energy as well. And then bottom of the deck here, you have number 12, which is three, the temple path, okay? Another card here of spirit trying to lead you on your path. So you're being uh, spiritually guided, I feel here, or guided here by your, your higher power. So we will see what the energy shows us here, okay? There's some sort of new beginning here. Now, some of you I'm going to say, too, with that world card, you could be traveling. Uh, maybe you're doing some travels, but I really feel like this is, you know, endings, new beginnings. We'll see things coming full circle. We're going to see what the energy is. So let's see here, Leo, what the energy is here for you. What can you show, Leo? I'm going to pull the cards and then we'll go through them. We'll clarify what's needed. Okay, we've got Aquarius, strong Aquarius energy there. Oh, we got a divine uh, counterpart here. We got an emperor, strong Aries. Wow. Okay, interesting, Leo. And then we have King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I feel there is definitely a change here. Something I feel here that's moving towards something stable. Look at that. The tower and the full card. Yeah, definitely there's some sort of new beginning here that's upcoming that's about to happen for you. You're not expecting for this to happen. I'm just going to say with that tower energy. It's that it's it's that, you know, that out of the blue energy um, that I am seeing. So let's start here. We have the star card. We have the queen of wands and we have the seven of swords. So really interesting energy what i feel here leo with that queen of wands and it's not about gender it's about the energy i feel it's almost like i feel leo that this you're you're taking a different approach um i feel like you're taking an approach of trying to do things differently when it comes to love um you know some of you may have actually you know done some healing right found your own balance emotionally uh, maybe you're putting yourself out there and you're dating um, or you're just passionate about life. Like I said, some of you could be very passionate about travel and maybe you're just just trying to enjoy life. OK, um, I feel like this change in you is part of your destiny here, too, with that star car. We have strong Aquarius. We have your energy, Leo. Um, we also have strong Aries, Sag. Aquarius, like I said, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so let's look here. We have the King of Wands, we have the Emperor, and we also have the Strength card. Okay, I feel like you got somebody who is coming towards you. Some of you it could be new love, some of you it could be somebody that you know. But with this Queen of Wands and that King of Wands and the Emperor, I actually feel like this could definitely be somebody that you are compatible, someone I feel who sees you um, as they could be with for the long term, even marriage. But I'm going to say it does feel like this is someone who is probably not sharing, right? 
uh, how they feel or what they see, right? What they envision here. I feel with the strength card, this person is uh, getting the strength and courage to come towards you to take some sort of action. Now, intuitively, you may be already feeling this because I do feel like there's a very strong compatibility chemistry, passion between you and this person, or when you meet this person, you're going to feel that. Now, I'm also going to, uh, we're going to clarify, I think I'm going to clarify, we'll start with the King of Wands, um, and maybe the Strength card here, but like I said, there's something stable, I feel, that is that is coming towards you, Leo, all right? I feel like somebody who is going to be um, supportive even if this person wasn't supportive with you in the past, if this is someone that you know, okay? Now, you have here uh, the Knight of Swords, we have the Four of Cups, and we have the Ace of Swords. I feel put potentially here with this Four of Cups, um, there may be some hesitation with this person, whoever it is for you. Like I said, it could be somebody new, it could be somebody uh, that you already know. This may be somebody who wants to move things more quickly uh, than normal, okay? Um, you have the Ace of Swords there as well. There's definitely a new beginning. Some of you, it may be just around communication. Um, the hesitation may be, right, you wanting to know this person's intentions. I think I'm going to clarify that Four of Cups and that Ace of Swords. It could be that, too, you have other options. And uh, like I said, Spirit's trying to lead you on the best path, right? The best path for your highest good. So let's uh, clarify these cards, see where this is all going. It feels really positive, Leo, I have to say. It does feel really positive. Now, like I said, there's a strategy here almost. I feel like you're doing things differently. Maybe you're seeing things differently. Maybe you're going out, you're having a good time. You're really confident. It feels, you know, uh, confident, assertive energy there. And um, you have the Seven of Swords, the Strength card, and the Ace of Swords here. I feel like, too, this is about you doing things differently. Like you had almost like you're going through an awakening or transition in your life. And Spirit is really showing you and leading you, you know, to a place where you may have other options, right? So let's clarify... Um, Let's start with clarifying that King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here, please? Okay, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. All right. Wow, Leo. I feel like this is, um, this could be somebody who lives at a distance, right? Definitely picking that up with the world, the Six of Swords here. Uh, Six of Swords is also my smooth sailing card. Uh, this could be somebody who's traveling towards you. Now, they don't have to live at a dist like a far distance here, but you got the Three of Pentacles. Or they may invite you to do some travel or something like that. Okay, it's going to be different for all of you. But I also see that as kind of that smooth, you know, you know, things going smoothly type of energy, right? You have the Ten of Cups, you have the Six of Swords, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel this is someone who's coming towards you, all right? It's a consistent energy, and I feel this is somebody who wants to put in the work here with you. And look at that, you got the Knight of Cups here as well. So this is someone who's who's very interested, I feel, in you, Leo, and I feel like this is somebody, they're going to take things slowly, but that's a good thing, all right? That's a good thing. Consistency is key. So I feel like this is someone who's actually coming towards you, wanting to put in the work here. Let's clarify the, the Emperor card here, all right? Why is uh, the Emperor card here? Strong Aries. Why is the Emperor card here? We have uh, water, fire, air. We also have earth, okay? Strong Aquarius, strong Aries and strong uh your energy leo all right so why is the emperor here okay we have the king of cups we have the seven of swords ten of pentacles seven of wands so didn't i say it i feel like this person is envisioning a future together 
right? Wanting to work on a relationship. I feel like this is someone who is working towards a relationship, but I'm also going to say here, right? Remember I said, I don't think this person is right, is going to share, right? Their vision here of the bigger picture. You have the King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. This tells me this is someone, right? They kind of avoid, right? Sharing their feelings, their emotions here. But really with this uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, I feel like that's what they're working towards here. Now, some of you I kind of pick up here too. This could be somebody that you've already dealt with and there may have been some struggles in the past, some hurdles in the past, some blocks. It could be, right, um, you know, them kind of avoiding their feelings, their emotions here. But I feel like this is someone who's actually really... Um, I feel like this is someone who's going to invest in this connection, whether this is someone new or somebody that uh, you already know. Now, I want, I'm really curious here to see why this Four of Cups is here, right? Is this just hesitation, right, about this person? Do you have other options? Let's see why the Four of Cups is here, please. Why is the Four of Cups here, please? All right. Oh, look at that. Three of Pentacles again. Ace of Swords, which we have here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Two of Cups. All right. Oh, look at that. The lovers on the bottom of the deck. Strong uh, Gemini energy. Let's see. Okay. Eight of Cups. The Hermit card. All right. So some of you, this may just be, you know, a decision in love. Some of you... Um, this could be somebody, either you walked away or they walked away here in the connection, or just simply that this is someone, right, who kind of shies away from their feelings or emotions, right, or like I said, that could be an obstacle here. Um, I feel the hesitation here. Actually, I'm really feeling this is more hesitation than options, but you could have other options around you that you're not seeing, but you have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Cups. I really feel... Leo, that this is a situation where the hesitation is this person's intentions. Is this person open, honest with you, right? There's definitely a new beginning, a fresh start here in love for you that's being offered. I'm going to say with the Four of Cups, I always say with this card, the universe is putting an offer here in your face, right? It's going to be really clear and apparent that this person is wanting something right more than just friendship here and i feel that you need to at least investigate it okay investigate it hear it out see where things um you know go um you know but you always have free will and choice but there's a decision here and i feel like your your decision making is really going to be around this person's intentions are they clear about what they want but I would say you and this person have, or will have or already have a very strong connection, okay? Mutual feelings in this situation, okay? So, Leo, let's, um, I'm going to pull some more cards and see what else Spirit has to tell us about this, where this is going. Now, in the extended, Leo, we will look at what your person's thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance, all right, beyond what comes out here in the reading. For those of you that this is somebody that you know, all right, let's see what we got. Okay, we got five of wands, we have four of pentacles, we have six of pentacles, okay. Temperance, six of cups, two of wands. Okay, so it's really showing me here, queen of cups. So quite a few of you, I feel like this is going to be somebody that you know here. I do feel that there's love here between you and this person. Um, I'm going to start out with people, you know, that you know this person. You got the five of wands, you have the four of pentacles, and you have the six of pentacles. I feel in the past that, that you and this person were not on the same page of what the two of you want. It could be dealing with the Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius energy. I feel like it may, the timing may not have been right uh, with you and this person in the past, right? 
Now, um, some of you, this can just be your own inner, inner struggle, right, about timing when this person's coming in, if this is somebody new for you. Uh, everybody's in different phases in their love life. You have the Four of Pentacles here, and you also have the Six of Pentacles. I almost feel here, Leo, a part of you, right, is kind of holding back, pulling back, right? You're wanting to see the effort from this person. Right, like I said, there's hesitation. Now, for some of you, this could be right past relationships where maybe you've always been the one to put in the effort, right, and not seeing a whole lot uh, return, okay, on your effort. And I feel here too with the Six of Cups, right? Some of you definitely get past person here, soulmate energy, and um, this is the decision, right? Two of Wands. So some of you, it's going to be, a, there's some sort of hesitation with this person, this new person coming in, right? Is this person open, honest? Or do they have good intentions, I feel, right? Is this someone who's really going to put in the time and effort, right, for a connection or relationship? And others, is this someone you've dealt with before? <coughs> Excuse me. And I feel like in the past, maybe the timing wasn't right for whatever reason. And now there's hesitation about this person, okay? You're questioning things here because things need to be done differently. That's what I see here. I feel like you have gone through an awakening in your life, a transition in your life, and I feel the Spirit's leading you towards the right path here. And that hesitation may be Spirit leading you, right, through your thoughts and your feelings. So, Leo, I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to see how it all plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.